गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्यूटर शिक्षा इज सपोर्टेड बाय अंटिल नाउ इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू लर्न अबाउट ऑप्शन ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड टूल बार एंड द फाइल मेनू नाउ डू यू रिमेंबर ऑल दैट हैज बीन टॉट टू यू इन द अर्लियर क्लासेस और नो before beginning this class let us first go through some questions can you tell how can you open the writer file using a shortcut to open the writer file first you need to open the run command box right s writer s w r i t e r in it and then press the okay button this will open the writer file for you can you tell how can you hide the standard toolbar to use the shortcut method to hide the standard toolbar click on the drop down button appearing on the right side of the standard toolbar a box opens up and then you need to click on the close option in that box this will hide the standard toolbar if you want you can even click on the view menu and hide it by going to the toolbar option do you know what happens with the find and replace option using find you can search for any word or letter on your page or paragraph you need to type that word in the search box to do so and by using the replace option you can replace that word with a word or text of your choice can you tell why is the match case used in the find and replace option while using the find and replace option when you use the match case option then your computer will find words that are exactly in the same case as the word you are looking for after selecting the match case option if you type a word in small case in the search box but it appears in capitals in your text or paragraph then the computer will not be able to find the same can you tell why do we use the whole number only option in find and replace we use the whole number only option with find and replace so that the computer searches and selects the complete word or numbers and not just one letter or number do you know what happens with the navigator with the navigator you can get to know what all is active on your file for instance if you have inserted some pictures and you want a count of them then you can know that with the help of the navigator similarly you can see the information about tables images hyperlink section etc and you can also get a count of these now switch on your computers and open the writer file and let us now begin today's class let us first see what you will learn today you will learn about some options of the edit and view menu today the things that you will learn today about the edit and view menu will include paste special select text selection mode changes auto text fields field shading field name navigator and the sidebar now type out the paragraph being shown to you have you all typed out the paragraph you will now get to learn about the paste special option of the edit menu 
Do you know why is the paste special option used? With the paste special option, you can paste your text in different ways. Suppose you have typed some text and then you have done some formatting in it. Now, if you want that you should only copy paste the formatted text, then you will use the paste special option. And in case you would like to copy paste only the unformatted text, then you can do that as well. Watch the video and learn more about how the paste special option is to be used. With the help of this video, let us now see how we can use the paste special option. So, on your writer page, you have some text. Select the lines that you want to use for paste special. So, we are selecting the first two lines. Let's do some formatting on them. Let's change the font color. Let's also do an underline by using these buttons here in the format menu bar. Once you've done it, make sure that this these two lines are selected and then after selecting go to the edit menu in the menu bar click there and click on copy now these two lines have been copied bring your cursor or pointer to the place where you want to do the paste and take the pointer to the edit menu and select paste special. You have various options. So for this time, let's select unformatted text option. Select that and click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, you will see that the two lines that you had copied, the two lines get pasted here but without the formatting. So let's once again select the two lines which we had formatted, which we had copied earlier, the same two lines we select. Go back to the edit menu, click there. Select copy or click on copy. Then bring the cursor here where you want to paste. Again, go to edit menu, select paste special and this time let's select the unformatted text or uh, the formatted text. I'm sorry, we did for unformatted last time. So formatted text, click on OK and you see that the two lines get pasted here. But this time the formatting also gets copied. So the formatted text has been copied. So this is how you can make use of the paste special option. Let us now learn about the selection mode of the edit menu. Can you tell why is the selection mode option used? Within the selection mode option, you have two options. One, standard selection and two, block area selection. Standard selection helps you to select line wise whilst the block area selection helps you to select till the place where your pointer is positioned. Watch the video to see how the selection mode is used. With the help of this video, let us understand how we use the selection mode on our writer page. For selecting the selection mode, we need to take our pointer to edit. Go to selection mode and select one of these. So we are now selecting block area. As you can see in the video, whatever block or whatever area you have selected in the first line, when you keep moving your cursor down, about the same block on all these lines get selected. If you select selection mode again and do standard, then when you select you will see that the whole line where you keep your cursor or when you move the cursor, the whole of that line 
or the area gets selected. So this is the difference between block area and standard. Once again, if you look, we are doing selection mode. We are selecting block area and we have selected this first word page. And when we keep about the same area from each of these lines is getting selected. This is the block mode in selection mode. So this is how you can use the selection mode on your writer page. Let us now learn about the change option. Do you all know what happens with the change option? Using the change option, you can see if any changes have been made in your document. If any user has made any changes, you will be able to see them and they will also appear in a different format. This change option works very much like the track option of MS Office. Let us now watch the video and understand how the change option gets used. Let us now watch this video and see how we use the change option in our writer page. The change option can show us any changes that we are making on our writer page. So to use this, we have to click on the edit menu look for the change option and you can click on record when you click on record or select the record option any change that you make is shown in a different color so if you type anything on your writer page now it will be shown or in another in other words it will get recorded and will be shown as a change. So if you are typing anything, it will be shown in a different color. If you delete anything from here, any text or data, you can see that it also changes in color and a line is put across the middle of the text or the document. So you can easily see the changes being made. Once again, if you go to the edit menu, select the change option and now in case you select the or unselect the show option. So when you unselect the show option, whatever changes you had made are not shown in a different color. So if you have added anything, it is just shown in the normal text and whatever you have deleted, it is not shown as the change is not shown. Once again, we click on show the whatever changes we had made, whatever we had added or whatever we had deleted is shown in a different color. Once again, go to edit, look for change. And we have now trying to select or make changes here. You can also notice we are changing, we are adding some more data or text. And you can see that since we had not opted for record, it is not shown in a different color. And if we remove any data, it is not being shown. It is just being removed as normally it would get deleted. Now, if you go to change again and look for changes here, look for other options, you can protect the records. So when you select the protect records, it asks for a password. Now, if you have selected to record the changes, those changes will be shown. You click on OK, confirm the password. Now, if you once again go to change and want to record something, click on record or you want to unselect the record option. You can see that anything that you add or anything that you remove is shown in a different color. Because right now we have asked it to record the changes. So anything that we add is shown in a different color. Anything we delete is shown by a cross line on top of it and in a different color. Now let's see what happens when we go to change 
and want to change the options we have chosen. So now we want to unselect the record option. So it will ask us for a password. Only after we enter the password will we be able to change the options that we have asked for. So we type the password, click on OK. Only then the options can be changed. So this is how you can use the change option. You will now learn about the auto text option of the edit menu. Do you know what happens with the auto text option? With the help of auto text, you can insert a text or paragraph that you would otherwise have to type again and again in the page that you are working upon by simply using a shortcut. Watch the video and learn how auto text can be used. This video helps us to understand how we use auto text on our writer page. For using auto text, you first have to select your line, text or paragraph and you can do the selection using any of the methods that have been taught to you. So once you have selected the text, go to the edit menu, select the auto text option, a box opens and you can type the name of this particular text. The text that you have just selected becomes your auto text template or the box or the text that you have selected is called Computer Shiksha and we have given it the name shortcut CS. Go to auto text and click on new. Then click on insert option. Once you click here, this box goes away. Now keep the cursor where you want to insert this text. So remember the entire text that you had selected is called Computer Shiksha CS. So we just type CS and use the shortcut command F3. As soon as we do that, this entire paragraph gets repeated once again. So now if you scroll up and down on your writer page, you will see that the entire text has become, has been duplicated. So this is how if you are wanting to use some text repeatedly on your writer page, you can create an auto text of that text and then use the shortcut, whatever shortcut uh, words you have given or shortcut you have chosen, use that to repeat it as many times as you want. Once again, go to edit menu, look at uh, auto text option and now you already have your text here which is called computer shiksha. So you just select that and you can go to close because we don't want to repeat it more times. So the text has been taken away, the text which we had entered. If we want, we can just enter CS once again, use the shortcut and get it once again. So this is how you will use the auto text option on your writer page. The next option is that of the view menu. Let us first learn about the field name option of the view menu. Do you know why the field names option is used? Field name option allows you to show the field name and its contents. If you have not selected the field name option of the view menu, then you will not be able to insert the date or time. Instead, in this place, field name will be written. Let us watch the video to see how we use the field name option. With this video now, how we can use the option for field names. If you select the field name option, you will be able to key in the field names. So for this, go to the view menu of the menu bar and select field names from there. 
Now bring your pointer where you want to insert the field names. Take your pointer to the insert menu. Go to fields and in fields let's try date first. So right now you can see only the words date fixed is appearing. Let's try inserting time. Again time fixed is appearing. This is because right now the field name option has not been activated. To activate that, we will need to take a pointer to the view menu, go to field names, select that and you will see that the current date and the current time from the computer gets inserted where we were using the field name. Now, if we go to insert menu, from the fields, let's select page number. You will see that the page number 1 is showing here. Once again, if you were to go back to the view menu and unselect the field names option by clicking on that, only the words will appear. The field names, the actual words will appear and not the actual data. So, this is how you can use the field names option on your writer page. We are going to view again, going to field names and seeing that our data gets changed as and when we choose or uh, select or unselect the field name option. Let's now learn about the field shading option of the view menu. Using the field shading option, you can either remove or apply shading to the field names like date, time, page number and page count etc. Watch this video to understand more about how field shading is applied. In this video, we are going to see how we can apply shading and remove shading on our field names in the writer page. So, to apply the shading or to remove the shading, we should select the fields that we have inserted in our writer page, go to the view menu, click on field shading and you will notice that if it was shaded, the field shading has gone away, it is no longer there. If you want to apply the field shading on the fields, Select the fields that you want to apply the shading on, go to view menu and select the field shading option by clicking on it and you will see that these fields have a shading behind them. So, this is how you can use the option of field shading to apply or to remove the shading behind the fields that you have inserted on your writer page. Next. Let us learn about the sidebar. Can you tell what is the sidebar and why do we use it? The sidebar works like a shortcut for any option because whenever you use any formatting or clip art, then the sidebar at that time shows the properties of the active options. Watch the video and learn why the sidebar is used and also about how can you show or hide the same. Let us now see how we can hide or show the sidebar and make use of the sidebar option of the view menu. Right now on your writer page you can see that on the right side the sidebar is visible showing properties. If you go to the view menu and click on the sidebar this will unselect the sidebar and the sidebar will no longer be available for use. So, you can hide or unhide the sidebar from the view menu. You can also use a shortcut for this. Once again, let us go to the view menu, click on sidebar to select the sidebar which will again show the sidebar to us and you can use various options here. You can hide the sidebar by clicking on these dots here as is being shown in the video. 
here. If you click here, the sidebar gets hidden. This is a shortcut. Once again, if you click on these dots here, the sidebar will appear. So this is how you can hide or show the sidebar and make use of it on your writer page. This class ends here. So all of you close your file and shut down your computer. In today's class, you learned about some of the options of the edit and file menu like selection mode, change, auto text, field name, field shading, etc. Computer Shiksha is supported by Thank you.